negotiate with terrorists. I am not calling them terrorists. I'm calling their actions uh, terroristic. Oh, brother, strong words from Senate leader Greg Treat. This after the state Senate slowed to a snail's pace because of two senators. Today is the last day the House and Senate have to vote on their own bills, but delay tactics could keep lawmakers at the Capitol until the midnight deadline. News for Spencer Humphrey is live at the Capitol for us tonight, where the Senate is still in session right now. Right, Spencer? Yeah, it sure is, guys. And in fact, the senators could still be here for a little while longer. Again, they have until midnight tonight to get as many bills passed as possible. Their their deadline is midnight. Now, uh, the House was able to get through all of its bills uh, relatively easily today. In fact, their side of the building, all the lights are off right now. The Senate side, though, still lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh, State Senators Dusty Devers and Nathan Dom have taken up several hours of today's critical final hours reading bills word for word in a kind of a filibuster of sorts. A Senate leadership says they believe as a delay tactic. One of those bills was more than 80 pages long. Senate President Pro Tem Greg Treat claimed today they were doing it in retaliation after none of the bills they authored were heard. A member came to me with a basically a ransom list of bills that if you hear these we will stop doing it and that's not the way I uh, choose to lead. Now, I spoke with Senator Greg McCourtney, who will be replacing Treat as president pro tem when Treat turns out next year. He tells me the delays may mean some bills will die out that could have otherwise been passed. The biggest one off the top of my head is uh, there's a, a, a pay increase for retired law enforcement officers, and I don't know if we're going to, I don't know if they're going to get a pay increase. And, time of great inflation, uh, these, these guys are going to stop them from, from being able to get an increase in their retirement. I think it's not what's in the best interest of the people of Oklahoma. Now, but Courtney told me it hasn't been easy to even talk to Dom or Devers face to face. In fact, he said most communication from them. He said he's had to read through their posts on social media. As for Senators Dom and Devers, I did reach out to their offices to try to get an interview with them today. I didn't hear back on that, but also should be noted, both of them spent their entire days on the Senate floors. Reporting live at the Capitol, Spencer Humphrey, Oklahoma's News 4. We know you'll watch it to its conclusion. Thank you.